Hey everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there are three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc's templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software, which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template. And once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions, Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sublist then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, equipment and maintenance tracking databases, sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Access Project Management Database Template. 
So if you scroll up just a little bit here to our small business section, go ahead and click the Access Project Management Database. Once that web page, web page opens, download the demonstration that correctly corresponds with the current version of Microsoft Access that your computer is currently running on. I'm going to download this one. Once a download opens, or once a download is downloaded, go ahead and open the file. And the file is zipped up, so you're going to need to extract all the contents of that file first. Once you've extracted the file, go ahead and open the file. And with all of our database templates, since they do come from the web, your computer views it as a potential security risk or warning. I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and open the file. And with all of our database templates, you also get this pop-up box that's just stating that this is a demo version of the software, so none of your data will be able to be stored. If you want to store your data, you need to purchase the full version of the database template. This pop-up box also has all the different ways you can contact us. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this for now. So this is the project management database template. So it's perfect for if you uh, were on a project at a company and you need to keep track of all your employees, the main tasks of the project, and individual tasks of the project. So to begin with, we're going to add a new employee. So hit in the employees tab and then hit add new employee. And within this tab, you can see that you can add in a lot of information. We're just going to add in the bare minimum for the sake of this demonstration. So we're going to just put in some names here. Blake, last name, test. Um, job title, we'll say IT. Uh, we'll put in a phone number. And we'll put in an email or not. But as you can see, you can fill out a lot of information on this page. You can even put in a picture of the employee, add in notes of the employee, add in uh, projects that they're on. So like once we add in a new project, the, all the projects that this employee is on will show up here, as well as any tasks that they are assigned currently will be right here. So we're just going to go ahead and hit save and new now. Okay, so a new pop-up box shows up that we can create a new employee. We will not be doing that for now. But now what you can do is if you needed to search for all your employees, so let's say you're starting a new project and you want to quickly search and add all these employees to your project, you can simply just search, go to the search tool and search. So I type in BL, since I'm the only uh, employee in this database currently, I show up right away. And I can even double click this employee like this if I want to have this pop-up box show back up and I can edit some more information, add in some notes, maybe assign a project or a task to them. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to close this for now and close this. And so now we're going to go to the projects tab. So now I can do add a new project and I can name this project. We'll say just testing project. And we're going to say the owner is Blake Test, that employee I just created. In the category, you're going to see three categories. This was just put in for the sake of a demo. If you purchase the database template, you can maintain all your own information and you can add in all your own categories, obviously all your own employees. These were just some other employees that were added for the sake of a demo. You'll be able to input all of your own information. So we're going to say category one. We're going to say the priority. We'll say it's low. And we're going to say it's in progress, so we just started it. And we're going to say the start date's today, the budget's $100, how about? And the budget in days, uh, we'll say it's $5 a day. Okay, so now we have a start date, we'll give it an end date, we'll say it's going to be a week-long project. And now what we can do is we can go to project tasks, and I can assign some specific tasks to employees. So the title, let's say, um, We'll just say email. They're in charge of sending out emails for a project. Just throwing this out here. So we're going to say it's assigned to what employee? And it's going to be assigned to Blake. I am the owner, but I'm also going to be in charge of this task. I'm going to say the due date is tomorrow. So you need to send out all emails by tomorrow. Status, it's not started still. And priority, we'll say it's normal priority. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back to this project details. And so you can see right now that you can add in some notes about this project. And you can even add in attachments. So if you had like some Word docs or some other documents you want to add in, you could do that. So we can see the balance of days, which means we have five days in the, in term of budget, and we have $100 left in our balance. Now if I go ahead and close out of this project, I can now go and search for that project. So if I know the name of the project, it's testing. Oops. Testing. Hit search. There we go. That testing project I just created shows up. Blake Tess is the employee, the owner of it. It's a category one project, low priority, in progress, and it started today. And I can even double click this if I wanna open this back up and add in some more information. So we also have this project task tab like I mentioned earlier, but if you also want to, you can go to add task here, and you can also add in some more tasks, right, like this. So this just is a more detailed section for the tasks you can add. So we'll close that for now. 
go ahead and close this. So it's a pretty simple database, but it's pretty detailed and it would be perfect for a project manager that needed to keep track of all the projects and all their employees that are on those projects, as well as all the tasks involved with that project. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thank you all for taking the time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert database template walkthrough brought to you by Winning Solutions Inc. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of other walkthroughs and tutorials. As always, contact us for any of your IT needs. Whether you need programming done, you want to buy a template, you want to customize a template, you need a database further developed, anything. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the description below of this video. As always, you can find us on about all social media platforms. Feel free to follow us or like us on any of those websites we post quite frequently. Once again, thank you all for watching this Microsoft Access Expert template walkthrough and have a great day.